Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to evaluate the determinants of a 3 by 3 matrix. And here is the very first matrix and we want to find the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. That means we have a 3 rows and 3 columns. And one more thing, just keep in your mind the determinant of a matrix can also be written as like over here as you can see these vertical straight up lines and here I have wrote down this determinant of this given matrix and now let me show you super easy way to find the value okay here's the very first thing we're gonna do is I want you to just draw a line straight up line over here it's just like the horizontal line now let's do the very first thing over here we are going to cross multiply crisscross first i'm going to multiply this way one time one is one let's put down one and then always put a minus sign and we're going to multiply three times two is six one minus six is negative Five. So far so good. Whatever we value we got, we are going to put in the opposite direction underneath this number 2. I'm going to put down 5 with a negative sign over here. So far so good. Let's take care of the next one now. Let's do this one exactly same way. 1 times 2 is 2. Just put down 2 minus 0 times 1 is 0 so 2 minus 0 is going to be a 2 so this 2 is going to go in the opposite direction right up here now the only spot left is over here underneath this number so for that one I am going to take this the very first column on the left hand side and I am going to write down 1 three just on the right hand side and let's do the same thing between these one one time zero time three is going to be a zero minus always one times one is one zero minus one is negative one so i am going to put down negative one right up here let's go ahead and multiply these numbers these one right up here these ones and these ones so what we're going to get is negative 5 times 2 is going to be negative 10 negative 1 times negative 10 is going to be a positive 10 and then this is going to be negative 10 and as you can see that this negative 10 and positive 10 cancels out so our complete answer turns out to be negative 10 so the value of this determinant turns out to be negative 10 and thus our answer turns out to be negative 10 and i put down two different ways to represent the determinant both ways are fine and here is our next example over here we are going to find the value of this determinant of this given 3 by 3 matrix and one more thing the determinant of this given matrix can be represented by these vertical straight up lines as you can see over here and here I have written wrote down this determinant and let's go ahead and evaluate it the very first thing we are going to do is just put a horizontal line right up here let's go ahead and find the value let's crisscross let's multiply this way three times two is six then put a minus sign then the other way that's going to be a four times one is four six minus four is two so this two is going to go on the opposite direction underneath this 15 let's multi crisscross cross this way now 4 times 0 is going to be 0 once again you put a minus sign and now we're going to multiply the other way around 1 times 2 is 2 0 minus 2 is going to be 
negative 2. So negative 2 is going to go on the opposite direction underneath this 5. And now the next step is we are going to look at this 3, 1 over here. 3, 1. I am going to write down 3, 1 right up here. And let's do the same thing over here. 1 times 1 is 1 minus 3 times 0 is 0. 1 minus 0 is going to be 1. So 1 is going to show up in between right up here over this negative 6. Let's go ahead and multiply these numbers. So let's do this one over here. Multiply these one and see what we get. So this is going to be negative 10 and that's going to give us negative 6 times 1 is negative 6 and this is going to be plus 30. And if you can see, if you go ahead and see that's going to give us 14. Thus our answer is 14. Thus our answer turns out to be 14 and I have showed you both of these representation. You can use either one, both are acceptable. And here is your assignment. Can you do this thing on your own? You can take your time. Luckily I have already uploaded this video as well. Please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye!